train and the engines were wondering who was to pull it. So who do you think might pull the train? Maybe I'll get to pull the train after all. I am the brightest and the shiniest. Rubbish! I'll probably get to pull it! Bear wanted to feel important. He might choose me to pull the train. Or me. Just then, Tom saw Bertie. Hey Bertie, what's up? I was just feeling a bit let down. Why is that? It's because of you having Rosie and I don't have a girlfriend or a date. I know I'm friends with Rosie, but we're engines. Engines don't date. That would be too weird if you ask me. Yeah, that's kind of true, but what are you talking about anyway, sir? About who will be pulling a special train tomorrow. I see. But one thing's for sure, it won't be Dirty Percy. Don't call me Dirty Percy! Later that day, Bertie was at far fall when a yellow bus came skidding through. Watch where you're going, you rose hog! Whoa! What on earth was that? Silly thing! It might have caused an accident! Whoa! Who in the Flying Scotsman are you? Howdy, name's Alec. I'm a new school bus from America. I was sent here to help you out, you bogey and your passengers. That's real nice and all, but why were you driving so carelessly? Oh, sorry about that, it's my driver. He always likes to drive at dangerous speeds. I see. Please remind him to be more careful next time. Oh, don't worry about it, I will. The next day, the fat controller didn't choose James, and he didn't choose Henry. Nor Bear, nor even Thomas for that matter. He chose Edward and Molly. At the engine wash, they were just being cleaned when Bertie arrived. Hello you two. 
Are you pulling the special train today? Oh, yes, indeed. We're getting cleaned up so we can look our best. Molly couldn't wait to pull the train, although she was very shy about it. Good for you. I must be off now. I've got some passengers that I need to see their loved ones on this day. as he rolled along the hill on his way to Tinmouth, when suddenly a driver who has been inconsiderate and unaware of his surroundings darted across the road. The driver in shock slammed on the brakes, breaking him to a stop. An old lady among the people walking slid off the seat. Everyone was in shock, including Bertie, who had just arrived. Alec, what's happened? My driver slammed on my brakes, which caused an old lady to fall out of the seat and hurt her lip. I'd better help her to see if she is alright. Bertie's driver stood and helped as the old lady got to her feet in a fright. He gave her a tissue for her lip and instructed the driver to pull her over so that they could tend to other people. He drove to the next stop as he informed him of his responsibilities. You were being reckless. Alec told Bertie about yesterday when he was talking to him. You should have known to be more careful next time. Yes sir, I understood sir. The old lady wanted that stop as she was visiting her grandson for Valentine's Day dinner. Bertie took her to the house and his driver informed him about the day's events. As Bertie was on his way to Tidmore Station, he saw Edward and Morgan following the special train. Hello again, you two. How do we look, Bertie? You two look splendid pulling that train. Oh, thank you, Bertie. When Bertie arrived at Tidmore Station, the fan control was there waiting for him. Well John Bertie, I was really proud of how you helped out that old lady. Alec told me everything. Bertie was pleased. Thank you so much, sir. The fat controller had also told Alex driver to be more careful in the future. Bertie felt very proud that he was very helpful on Valentine's Day.